Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Debbie, and I'm here again to talk to you about dating in midlife. And today I want to talk about a trend, well, at least one I noticed when I was dating, where the guys seem to treat the initial uh, early dates as an audition. Um, there's been a lot of talk lately about people beginning uh, dating chats with, and what do you bring to the table? As if this were some kind of a job interview. Um, and I've also heard the responses, never answer that question because this isn't a job interview and dating love at all and all should not be transactional. You're not exactly trying to sell yourself. Um, one of my very worst stories was when I was dating a very wealthy guy and he seemed to think that the point of being online and dating women is that they were going to audition to try to be worthy of his largesse, of being in his life. So I would hear, well, I host parties. Would you be available for that? Would you help with that? I go away for days. Could you stay at my house? Because I'm worried it would be broken into. I'm an attorney, so it'd be great to have a lawyer on my team. Basically, I thought I was uh, interviewing for the role of administrative assistant. Th this, this situation had about as much romance as a file cabinet. And obviously, it didn't work. Um, and I probably only let it uh, go on as long as it did, as I did because I was very new to dating then. So I didn't understand that it was really very unpleasant to have someone tell me, well, compared to my last girlfriend, you're a lot more articulate, but she provided meals and you don't pay for enough. I mean, that was, that was pretty ugly. He also made me sleep in the basement, but that's another story. I think part of we get into this problem is that we women, a lot of us were brought up to be people pleasers, we're brought up not to offend, we're brought up to try to impress people, to fit in, to be likable. Someone's like, well, what do you bring to the table? And you're like, well, I'm a, a great cook and I, I only think about the other person and I'd be happy to drive your kids to school. No, this is a product of upbringing. It's not a good idea. Ask him what the hell he can do for you if you're gonna go that route. I think in real life, when we have a relationship, sometimes you love somebody not in spite of, but because of their flaws. We love people's idiosyncrasies. That's what's good. So I think it's important as we meet people that if someone acts like they're auditioning you, what can you bring? I like to do this. How can you deal with that? This is my life. How do you fit in? Just back away. You are not auditioning to be the CFO of a corporation. You are trying to see if there is the potential for love, and those are two entirely different things. I'm Debbie, and I hope that helped. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.